The most frequently asked question I get in my videos and during my stream is how I get good performance in DayZ while the game still looks quite good. I'm going to show you how my performance is pretty decent even while streaming and recording at the same time. Now before we get started, I want you to understand that DayZ currently is in early access alpha. This means the game is still work in progress and performance will have increased at full release. Until the new Infusion engine gets implemented fully in DayZ, Having bad performance in some areas is something we just have to deal with. Also a good thing to note is that I have a high performance PC. I will link my specs in the description. Using a high end CPU will increase some of your performance in DayZ. What I'm going to tell you will help you with your FPS regardless of your current setup. Your FPS is not going to increase massively, but especially in areas with many buildings, having an increase of 5, 10 or even 15 FPS will make a big difference. So first off, I'm going to show you the settings I like to use whilst playing, streaming and recording DayZ. I think it's important for content creation to have the game still looking good. For that we start off at our textures. My video memory is at auto. My texture detail is normal. If you lower this, you will get better performance, but the game's visuals will take a massive hit as well. Texture filtering is very high. Next, we go to the quality settings in the video tab. Objects should be at normal. If you lower this setting, the objects for even over smaller distances will not render in. This can be quite dangerous because you wouldn't be able to spot someone sniping you from a window about 150 meters away. I'll leave my terrain and clouds on very high. I suggest you play around with this one. For me, having these on very high barely influences my FPS, but it will make the game look a lot better. Finally, the shadow should be at normal as well. We move on to the rendering tab. I have anti-aliasing on normal. I like my edges clean, and I want to be able to distinguish weird shapes like someone being prone in a bush over longer distances as well. This is a personal preference. My alpha to coverage is on all trees plus grass. Makes the game looks a little bit more realistic. Edge smoothing is SMAA normal. Using FXAA will make the game look more grainy, and in my opinion, pretty ugly. You can play around with this setting. Ambient occlusion and post-process quality are disabled. Finally, make sure your V-Sync is disabled as well. Now, there are some changes you can make in the config files and in the Steam launch options that will help you with your FPS. Let's first take a look at our config files. To find your config files, go to your C drive, click on Users, Your Name, My Documents, DayZ, and then open the DayZ profile file with your name. Within this notepad document, we're going to change some values to increase performance. Press Ctrl F and type in Scene Complexity to find the settings we are looking for. Starting with this value, change it from 500,000 to 150,000. This decreases the amount of textures the game is trying to load in at the same time dramatically. Next is our shadow distance. This should be at 100. I decrease my view distance to 1600 meters. This will affect how far you'll be able to see on the horizon. So change this to your preference. My preferred object's view distance is at 1200 meters. This setting will affect how far away your trees and buildings will render in. We are finished in this document, so make sure you save before you close it. In the DayZ CFG file, change your GPU underscore max frames ahead and GPU underscore detected frames ahead, both to 1. Before we move on to our launch options, keep in mind that some DayZ updates will reset these settings. So if you feel your performance has decreased after an update, make sure you check these config files again. To get to our DayZ launch options, go to your Steam library, right click on DayZ, Go to Properties and click on Set Launch Options. Paste the following command line, which I put in the description, in here. Now before we click OK, you have to set these values to match the ones of your PC. The CPU count should be set to how many cores your CPU has. 2 for a dual core CPU and 4 for a quad core CPU. Max Mem should be set to how much RAM your PC has. 2048 for 2GB, 4096 for 4GB, and 8192 for 8 gigabytes. Any more will make no difference. Set X threads to how many threads your CPU uses. This is the same number as the amount of cores your CPU uses. Unless you have hyper threading, then you probably have double that. Try Googling your opponents to double check if you set the right values for the launch options. That's it. That's all you can do to increase some of your performance in DayZ. 
All the values and options we set is up to a personal preference. You can change these however you like. Keep in mind that until the new Infusion engine with support for higher versions of DirectX gets implemented into DayZ, our performance will be very limited. For now, this is the best we can do. I hope this has been helpful for you. I will post everything you need to know in the description. Good luck, and thanks for watching.